Oh, hi, I'm Mickey, and today I have my suitcase in my laptop. Porque voy a de viajar to all the hotels that I worked in in Asia, and I'm going to show you why I love them all. Well, most of them. Are you ready? Estas listo? Let's go. I've been working in Asia since 1994 and I've worked in many hotels, clubs, and well, bars in Pattaya, Malaysia, and Singapore. I had the time of my life when I worked in Asia and I want to share it with you. The places I worked, the facilities, the amenities, everything, how beautiful they were. I want to share that with you right now. First up, the Grand Sheraton. The Grand Sheraton is on Sukhumvit, which is one of the main streets in Bangkok. It's in the perfect place, the perfect location. The buffet was great. The lounge was cool. The gym and the pool were good too. The rooms were great too. Even though we spent most of our time working or practice or out somewhere doing something crazy in Bangkok, I recommend that if you're ever in Bangkok, stay at the Grand Sheraton. It's a wonderful place. Okay, next up on my list is the Renaissance Hotel in Guangzhou, China. This place I don't remember much about, but I do remember that it was very nice. It was also a five-star hotel. We worked in a small lounge area in the club. The crowd always seemed to be in, into the band. Guangzhou was a wonderful city, full of lights, full of clubs and action. Always something going on. The area around the hotel was always busy. There were many things to do, many things to see, many things to explore. Clubs, places to shop. I'll do a video just on this particular hotel and area in the future. Many things to see, many lights, many people, many shops, so much shopping to do. Also many clubs in Guangzhou. Guangzhou was a great place to visit. The rooms in the hotel were cool and the gym was good too. Don't remember much about the food. It was a short contract as we came from another hotel, which is next on my list. The Renaissance Harbor View Hotel in Hong Kong. It was an amazing hotel. The rooms were incredible and everything about this hotel was spectacular. It was one of a kind. It was an amazing place to be. The club was pretty small. It was on the top floor, if I remember correctly. It wasn't really that busy and it didn't really last that long. It was a new club and we were trying it out. The rooms, the gym, the pool, everything was good. And oh, oh, the food was good too. Very good. Although I don't remember my favorite meal at that time, but I know it was good, whatever it was, it was good. The Renaissance Harbor View Hotel, one of Hong Kong's most expensive hotels because of its location. And I'm not joking, the location was Awesome, very good. Anyway, let's get on to our next hotel. Ah, Novotel Bangkok. I can tell you one thing, this was our first job, my band's first job ever. Novotel Bangkok Siam Square, our first job. We probably stayed in this hotel, Novotel Siam Square Bangkok the longest. We'd work three months, go back, go away, come back, work six months, go away, come back, and then work again. Consecutively, I think the longest we worked in this hotel was one year. The club was always busy. It was called CM2. And it, was never, it wasn't full of many locals in the club. It was full of people from Europe, the Middle East, and India, most of the time. The hotel itself was a four-star hotel, not as, as luxurious as most of these hotels on my list, but it was my second home, my second home. I mean, this hotel, out of all the hotels on my list, had the best location. It was right in the heart of the city of Bangkok, in Siam Square. Shopping everywhere. Around in this area were seven malls itself. And I will do a video on just this area coming soon. So stay tuned for that. The rooms were okay. The buffet was good. The gym was pretty small, but the area made up for that. The staff was really great. I never really went to the pool because we were always out shopping or doing something interesting. In Bangkok, there was always, always something to do. Something. Three days a week, I'd probably get a massage. I loved it. Anyway, if you're ever in Bangkok, Siam Square, stay at Novotel, Bangkok, Siam Square. And remember, 
this place is awesome. The location is awesome. And you have to say Novotel Sam Square because there are a few Novotels in Bangkok. I think about three. And this one is Siam Square. So Novotel Siam Square, remember that. Now I'm gonna catch a flight to our next hotel. Come on, let's go. You ready? Ah, uh, Hotel Mulia in Jakarta, Indonesia. This has to be one of my favorite hotels of all times. And I'm gonna tell you why. We had five or six restaurants in this hotel to choose from, not including room service. The decor of this hotel was so beautiful, beautiful. From the time you walked into the front door, they had these steps, you go up, it was just beautiful. The hotel itself was amazing. One of a kind, awesome. It was considered to be a six star hotel at one time. I'm not sure, but I know in Bali, they do have a Hotel Mulia, which is considered a six star. We had Italian, Japanese, Chinese, American, and one other one I don't remember. And also don't forget we had room service. We were living the life in this hotel. This hotel was amazing. This hotel was great. The rooms, the pool, the gym. What more could you ask for? Really, what more? Oh, the club was called CJ's. It was happening every night and you would never know what, what to expect. You would never know. It was crazy. The women were beautiful. The guys were friendly. It was great. A great place, great time. And I'll never forget it. I mean, if you ever go to Jakarta, and I mean, you should, you should visit Hotel Mulia Sanayan. It's a beautiful place. Now let's go. Next up, Shangri-La Dalian, Dalian, China. So close to North Korea that you can see it. 45 minute drive from my hotel, we could see across the river, North Korea. It was interesting, very interesting. Now we didn't stay at the hotel. We stayed in the executive five-star suite of the Shangri-La, which were beautiful too. I don't have much footage of those, but I do have footage of the hotel that I'm showing you now. It's a beautiful place, a wonderful city to visit in Dalian, China. Like I said before, I can't find much video footage of the apartments, but the hotel was beautiful. We were living, we were living a dream. We were spoiled. We had everything there. It was a beautiful place. The staff was great. An amazing time. It was an amazing time. We loved it. We loved it. Absolutely loved it. Don't get me wrong. We worked hard too, but God has blessed me to see many wonderful things, meet many wonderful people. And I thank God every day for my experiences. It was beautiful. The club was really small, but the hotel made up for that. The rooms were beautiful and the food was good. That's all we needed. It was wonderful. If you ever get a chance to go to Dalian, China, stay at the Shangri-La Dalian. It's a beautiful place. Matter of fact, it's awesome. Now let's go. Next place. Next hotel. Next flight back to Jakarta. The Ritz-Carlton, Jakarta, Indonesia. Now this hotel was great. The club was good, but not as good as CJ's in Mulia. It was a good place. It was a new place, so we were trying out things, they were trying out things. And anyway, the buffet was good, the rooms were good, all amenities were great. We didn't stay long, but I do remember we had some good memories there. The new club they have now is called Ozone. It looks and seems to be a nice place. It's more lounge type. I don't think they have a band, but it looks pretty nice. If you ever get a chance to visit Jakarta, visit the Ritz-Carlton. I'm sure you'll have a great time. When we were there, it wasn't a party hotel, but we made the best of it. Now, off to our next hotel. Ah, next up, Sheraton Grand Taipei. This hotel was amazing. They had the best buffet I've ever seen in my, oh, until I went to Aria in Las Vegas. That was number one buffet for me. Oh, back to Taiwan. This hotel, Grand Sheraton Taipei, was beautiful. Lai Lai Sheraton, I do believe they called it. It was great. The hotel itself was always so, so busy. The rooms, the shops, the restaurants. I mean, I've never seen a hotel as busy as this place. The buffet was off the chain. I mean, there was a line around the block and I remember having so much haagen ice cream in that place. That place was really one to remember. The club itself was very small. It was a new club, it was just trying. We had just left Nova itself in Bangkok, if I remember, and we went to this place. Anyway, if you ever 
Get a chance to go to Taipei, Taiwan. Visit Lai Lai Sheraton, the Grand Sheraton in Taipei. Anyway, let's catch our flight. Next hotel. Estes listo. Let's go. Next up on my list, the Crown Plaza, Dubai. This hotel was amazing and a great place. Even though we only worked four days, we managed to stay there a month or so, and we made the best of it. Yes, we did. The rooms were good, the food good, the club was good, the pool was good, but the club wasn't the type of club for us. It was more of a DJ type club. It was a new place and they were just trying this one out too. So we did our best, we tried to fit in, but we enjoyed ourselves. Dubai is an amazing place and I advise you to visit. It's, it's amazing, Dubai. If you ever get a chance to go to Dubai, stay in the Crown Plaza. They have a Crown Plaza in the city and a Crown Plaza Marina. It's beautiful. Please visit. Dubai is beautiful. Crown Plaza. Oh, and tell them I sent you. Mickey sent you. And finally on my list, this has to be the tallest or if not close to the tallest hotel in the world. The lobby started on the 50th floor. My room, which I stayed in for nine months, is on the 62nd floor. The view from this floor was beautiful, magnificent. The view from inside the hotel, you could go outside my room and look down. And from outside, from the window in the room, you look out, which I didn't really like because I'm afraid of heights, but it's spectacular. These nine months were some of the best months of my life. It was in Pudong, Shanghai, which I'm gonna talk about in a, another video in full and let you know more about this wonderful, extraordinary hotel. The club was in another building and I had to actually take three elevators to get there. I took one down from the 62nd to the 50th, from the 50th down to the bottom into another building up to the club. Staying in the Grand Height, Shanghai was a dream. It was like a dream. I could walk outside my room and just look down and visualize, see the lounge. It was a dream. It was spectacular, magnificent. I remember the window washers would come outside my room and be washing the windows and I'd be looking and thinking, wow, it's amazing how people can do that job. Also crazy. If you ever get a chance to visit Shanghai, visit the Grand Hyatt Shanghai in Pudong. It's a wonderful, amazing hotel. Hope you enjoyed my trip. Now time to fasten your seatbelts and let's head home back to the States. The best thing about my job was it never really felt like a job. It was like a vacation singing on stage. It was beautiful and we made the best of it. And I thank God every day for my experiences, every day. This experience, not even high school or college could teach you. This is something you have to experience, a life teaching. And this experience has opened my eyes and made me see brighter and brighter every day. Made me respect people more, see people in every culture, every race, every religion. Made me see the world in a better light. Traveling does open your eyes to many things. And if you ever get the opportunity to travel, do it. You'll see the world in a different light. You'll see the world from a different perspective. You'll see the world. You'll see it. But now I want you to see it through my eyes, the way I did. So please like and subscribe. Live life, love life. God bless. Till next time, I'm Mickey. This is Around the World. Stay safe. Thank you. One, two, three, go. When I say freeze, you just freeze one time. When I say